Okay, so in this episode, we are going to talk about our stay in Coral Bay uh, and what we got up to. Um, Coral Bay was a different experience because we'd been staying at like Cobba Station, Wurramal and Wurra, and we're used to being away from people. But uh, getting to Coral Bay, there was just like people everywhere. Um, the campsites were like, we were all right on top of each other. Um, and things like that. So that was lots quite... Lots of kids. Yeah, lots so of kids. So many kids. Yeah, and lots of parents yelling at kids. Yeah. <laughs> um, when we arrived, we suddenly realised being back in civilization, there were things called shops. So we definitely went and hung out in the, like a little grocery store there. The um, prices were really reasonable, which we were surprised. One day, um, Dad was calling Linda, and um, I had to go get some nice cold fizzy drinks for us. Yeah. You took some money and went all on your own, didn't yeah. you? That was really cool. I liked the great. I liked the bakery. Mum still needs to repay me one dollar. <laughs> I thought also we were going to talk about how good those wagon wheel cake things yeah, were. They were really good. They were good. really good from the bakery. Yeah. Um, so yeah. yeah. I had vanilla slice. That was really young. And the other thing is we walked past the restaurant at the Caravan Park and it was like a uh, seafood platter, which is like Chris's go-to. Whenever we go out for dinner, um, that's what we have to eat. Well, um, I, try, I try to convince you. <laughs> Occasionally I get my way. Up so we had one and yep. it was it was really nice. Nice to have like a cooked dinner and um, feel a bit normal again rather than out in the middle of nowhere type stuff. Um, so that was really cool. Chris booked us in for the glass bottom boat uh, the next morning. Um, so we were looking forward to that. So we went out um, and we discovered, we found out the inside Coral Bay itself, the main part, um, they'd been like a natural sort of occurrence and the coral had spawned differently and it caused all the coral in the coast like in that bay area and all the fish to die so they're actually if you just like swam off the shore there really wasn't much to see there um, so even though the gas bottom, bottom boat was great because they took us out a bit and we got to see some big fish and, and feed them and things like that um, so the guy was saying we could either swim out like a kilometre on our own um, and, and do that, or um, he recommended they do a tour where you get to go um, with turtles. The tour guide, his name was Gus, which is the car. The name of our car, yeah. He was from Argentina and um, he, had an, he, he had his Argentina accent. Yeah which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, he was a really nice man, wasn't he? So I... Gus actually suggested to us doing the snorkeling tour when I said that I really wanted to swim with a turtle. It's on my bucket list. So we booked it in a couple of days later and um, went out in the morning and we swam with shark, a shark. Oh, as soon as I got off the boat, I swam over to the reef and it was one of the first things that I saw in the water. So I called David and, and Naya out and they came and got to catch a glimpse of it as well. So that was pretty spectacular. Um, lots of stingrays. We saw quite a few stingrays about the size of a, a dinner plate. So only baby ones, but they had blue spots on them and were really uh, gorgeous looking animals. And of course we saw the turtle that was it was just a real highlight, it was so graceful. It was like it was sort of floating along in the water and it allowed us to, I've heard that turtles can actually move really super fast, Dylan was telling us. So um, I think we were privileged that it just floated along and, and let us swim with it for such a long period of time. Um, and there was all brightly coloured fish on the reef we, we swam in two spots when we went out on that tour. So the first spot was there were bigger fish there and all different types of coral. They talked to us about cabbage coral and brain coral and they call it dreadlock coral. In the second place that we went, there was more open areas of ocean, more fish, but just little tiny ones. So all the really colorful fish and we saw 
schools of like hundreds or thousands of these little fish swimming and a lot of them in the open areas and there was nothing behind them except for clear sand so you got a really good vision of them. Yeah so the snorkeling was definitely the highlight of Coral Bay, the beaches just absolutely beautiful. Um, we'll go back no doubt in a school holidays we'll get back up there but we think that we will stay outside of Coral Bay somewhere a little bit quieter and just yeah. drive in for the day. Dad you're missing out something. What, what did I missing? miss? The boring washing. Oh, oh yeah so Chris did two loads, two loads of, washing, of washing and that was um, quite cool because oh. having clean clothes. Yeah. And I bought a pig bag. <laughs> yeah we bought a pig bag to that hold was, the yeah. pegs in. I, it's a pity I don't have it here to show no. everyone. We I still might, got, I might show it we still got a laundry video. bag on our list. Yeah. Um, but the pig bag's really nice. It's got a picture. It's like a picture of fish. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so that's another episode done. Um, thank you for watching again. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below. You understand? Don't you want anyone to like and subscribe? I don't care if people like. I what do you mean? Don't care. You put this on Facebook. No mode. Wow. For people who are interested in our. Um, travels yeah okay yeah all right anyway more next time we thank you subscribers see ya bye